Hey guys, Sharpen here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to recreate Billie Eilish's fluttery vocal effect from her song Bad Guy, so you can turn vocals like this Move me into fluttery vocals like this Move me and then blend it together with the original, it sounds like this Move me so this type of vocal effect uh, is being used quite a bit in Billie's new album, most noticeably in Bad Guy, where she sings I'm a bad guy, and there's this sort of uh, low octave fluttery vocal that is being added on top. It's actually not a pitch down vocal, it's just very fast uh, volume modulation. So I'm going to show you five ways to recreate that, so in case you don't have a certain plugin or effect, you can use uh, the different methods to recreate that sound. I'm going to be using this stock FL Studio sample. Move me. Let's start with the first method. So that would be using ring modulation. What you want to do is to automate the, the rate of the ring modulation. So that way you can create this effect by going from very fast rates into slower rates. Move me. Move me. Move me. The downside of using ring modulation is that it adds some weird frequency content that might be unwanted to the vocal. Move me, move me. Um, but it still gets the job done, so in case you don't have the other plugins, you can use that. Another option would be to use a tremolo plugin, which basically modulates uh, the volume up and down. And what you want to do is to modulate the rate from going very fast to go, to go uh, slower. So here's an example. Move me. Something like that. So uh, a tremolo doesn't add this weird uh, frequency content since it just modulates the volume to go up and down. Another good option would be to be using a panning plugin. So what it does is it pans your audio uh, to the left and then to the right. So by using Hertz mode, you can recreate uh, this effect by changing the panning very, very fast, which creates a sort of a fluttery effect as well. Here's an example. Move me, move me. So this recreates pretty much the same effect since it uh, changes the volume as well as it makes the volume go all the way to the left here and then to the right here and back to the left here. So another option would be to be using a synthesizer to resynthesize uh, your vocal sample, like Harmo for example. Move me. And then inside the synthesizer, you want to create a volume LFO. It goes from all the way down to all the way up. And then you want to modulate its speed. So here's an example. Move me, move me, move me. And another method would be to be using a sampler. So I'm going to be using FL Studio's native sampler. It sounds like this. Move me. And what you want to do is to use uh, the volume LFO to recreate this effect. So you want to start at very fast speeds as well. Move me. And go down uh, quite a bit. Move me. Move me. So all of these ways basically recreate uh, the same type of effect. Uh, and as you can see, the methods are pretty similar. Uh, all you need to do is to modulate uh, the rate of the volume modulation to go from really fast to slightly slower. Another thing to note is that in Billy's uh, track, there's the original vocal, and on top of it, there's the uh, volume modulation vocal being added on top. So if we were to recreate that, we would probably use the original vocal right here, and then we would create uh, automa an automation clip to modulate the speed like that and we would also uh, use a volume uh, envelope to sort of blend it in as the vocal uh, progresses something like this move me so you get both of the original vocal move me and also the effect on top move me move me and that is pretty much it if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what subject you want me to cover up next time